Children and youth everywhere have big dreams of a happy, rewarding future. To reach these goals, children must be equipped with the knowledge and social skills that only a quality education program can provide. While some countries in our world are able to offer excellent opportunities for their children, many are not. Wars, conflicts, poverty, a global pandemic, and rapid inflation disrupt and prevent educational options in many regions of our world. Children drop out of school, dreams are lost, and cycles of poverty are repeated. One misunderstood and often overlooked reason for children to drop out of school early is poor mental health, brought on by the stress of conflict and crisis. Abusive situations at home, poor safety and security in the community, or conflicts in the nation often cause mental health issues for adults, but even more so in a child's developing mind. Growing up in a rural village in Ethiopia, Kasim is the youngest girl of four children. Her father died when she was still a child. Her mother now struggles to raise the family on her own by selling firewood and the income from their small farm. Kasim loved school and had dreams of one day going to college. Her life changed suddenly when she was just 14. One night, when walking home from her job in the market, she was violently attacked by a young man. As a result of the incident, her parents forced her to get married, and her dreams of getting a good education were shattered. It was about that time that Adra began working in her village. Through a drama and training program, Adra taught parents, teachers, and village elders about the importance of education for girls, even girls who had been married young. Teachers started visiting Kasim, encouraging her to come back to school. Adra provided Kasim with psychological counseling to help her deal with the trauma that she had experienced. Kasim is now back in school and is once again daring to dream of a college education. Traumatic experiences like this are unfortunately quite common in some countries. Sometimes simply walking to the water source can be dangerous for women and young girls. Combined with the stress of hunger, poverty, and national conflicts, many children develop anxiety disorders that, if not treated, can affect them for the rest of their lives. Identifying and acknowledging the problem is the most significant step forward to a positive solution. ADRA educates teachers and parents about the invisible wounds of psychological trauma, its effects on young people, and the coping strategies they can teach and implement in school and at home. ADRA works with community leaders to build schools, train teachers, sensitize parents to the importance of education, develop curriculums, and provide educational materials for classrooms and libraries. This year, our ingathering appeal is for education in Ethiopia and the relief efforts for the people of Ukraine. Even when the war ends, ADRA will continue to work in Ukraine, helping people rebuild their lives, offering psychosocial support and supporting education. Thank you for your generous gifts, for collecting funds from your neighbors and using inventive ways to fundraise. Together, we can make it safe to learn for children in Ethiopia and provide help to the people of Ukraine.